Hey, one of the greatest things about the Tesla is the just huge variety of options you have for your infotainment, and that includes your music. If you've got a, a premium package, you notice that there's all sorts of great streaming choices available. You can narrow it down to your favorites, as I've done here, but uh, you can listen to stuff from whatever decade you want, whatever genre you want, and it's all terrific. Now, the problem that I have with it is that I like picking out my own music. I don't like having to fast forward past songs I don't particularly care for. And I end up doing a lot of that while listening to the streaming channels. So I have all of my favorite songs curated uh, and put on a USB device. And there's not a whole lot of talk about how to play music from a USB drive in your Tesla. So I'm going to tell you how to do it. Uh, first thing I would do is get a, a USB mini uh, SD drive and uh, maybe like a 256 gig that's plenty big and then partition it into two different um, drives one drive you will use for music playback and the other drive you will insert a tesla cam folder into it to use with your tesla cam so in other words you will be playing music and recording via tesla cam using one physical usb device that is partitioned into two drives and it works great. I haven't had any issues at all. Super stable. I use the SanDisk High Endurance uh, Mini SD card and a USB uh, adapter with it, and it works great. So, to begin with, here is the USB. I just clicked on the USB icon, and you see I have, this is my music folder, okay? You see that I have two folders, one named Jeff and one named Kim. Uh, I'm Jeff, obviously, and uh, that one has about, oh, 5,000 or so songs that I picked out, and every one of them is terrific, and I love them all. And uh, you click on that folder, and then you just find a song you want to start with, and you pick it, and then you hit play, and you're off to the races. You can have it on shuffle play or by alphabetical, whatever you want to do. If you're listening alphabetically, one of the frustrations you're going to run into is that when the car has gone to sleep, um, you will not default back to USB as your music device. And that's because if you go into the music menu, first you're going to hit the EQ page, and look on the left, scroll down to sources, you will note that USB is not one of the default music sources. These are the various uh, streaming options, I think you can choose three and at any given time and um, that is what your car is going to default to after it has been asleep now if you're listening to usb during the day okay let's say you're wanting to listen to it alphabetically you you grab the usb icon and then you select it and then you choose your music and you play it it's all great and you're out running your errands and you come back and you notice that the song picks up right where it left off that's because the USB ports are receiving power to, among other things, um, keep your sensory mode going. So whenever you're out during the day, most of us use sensory mode. That keeps power flowing to the USB ports. So when you get back in the car, music picks up right where it left off. But the next morning, let's say, after the car has been asleep and sensory mode hasn't been on, you're going to default back to one of your streaming uh, choices. Again, because USB is not a default music listening device on the Tesla menu. So you're going to default back to one of the streaming channels. Well, that can be a little frustrating because after all, you want to listen to your own stuff on your USB drive. Well, here's a really terrific workaround that I haven't seen anybody mention, uh, even on uh, not a Tesla app as far as voice commands. You press the right button and you say, play a song from USB and voila, it switches from the default music source right to your USB device, and it will pick up right back where it left off from the day before, or whenever. So, I'm, you see I'm back to the uh, streaming just to show you, 70s hits. Now I'm gonna say, play a song from USB, and boom, we're back right, picking right where we left off. Isn't that cool? It's really nice. <laughs> Even the dog loves it. So anyway, that's something to remember. And again, the voice command is play a song from USB and it'll go right to your USB device and start playing music from it.
right where it left off. Nice! <laughs>